Today I'm going to show you how I record and edit my montages. You will need a video editing software. In this case I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, Leak Director and third party recording software. I'm using Streamlabs. This is optional. You can also use this built in recorder from the replay or create more artistic sequences and render them in Leak Director. I like to play a couple of games first so I have a stack of four juices. Download the replays and start them. Next, open Leak Director and get your settings in order. The reason I'm using Leak Director is because it allows me to deselect the outline of champions. And it also gives me full control to deselect the UI, including camera controls console in the lower left corner. Once you have everything set up, select yourself from the camera tab and check on the timeline where exactly in the game you have kills. Your kills will have a brighter color, either blue or red, unlike other member kills which are faded color. Go to the moment in the game you want to record. Repeat this process with all the plays you want to include in your montage. Sometimes I like to record more artistic intros for my montages to create a storyline. If you want to see how I do artistic intros, you can take a look at my League Director tutorials. I will put a link to the playlist in the description box below. Once everything is recorded, open your video editor. Again I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, but you can use any program that you're familiar with. DaVinci Resolve is a free alternative. Create a project and upload all the recorded footage. Fine cut it to only exactly what you want in your montage.
Next, add transitions. I like to use transitions by PGK Production. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. Optional for a better effect, add sound to You can find a lot of royalty free sound effects using YouTube audio library Go to your project tab and right click Go to new item and choose adjustment layer Drag the layer above your montage, go to the effects, and type Gaussian Blur in the search tab. Put it on adjustment layer. Go to the effect control tab, under opacity go to blend mode, and choose linear dutch. Next, under Gaussian Blur, click on the small stopwatch in front of the blurness tab, and create a keyframe. Play with the blurriness level, increasing and decreasing it, making a keyframe every time you change the blurriness to make a flicker effect and synchronize it with the kill. Copy and paste the same adjustment layer over all other kills you have or anywhere else you wish. Add an outro and an intro to your montage if you want to, and you're almost done. From your project tab, drag the adjustment layer tab again over the montage, excluding the intro and outro, and go to the color tab. Make sure you have the adjustment layer selected and start playing with the color correction until it fits your preferences. Once everything is done, add a song that will fit to the montage and export it. And you're done! I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a good one. Ta-ta!